Hello, son. If you're watching this, that means I'm already dead. Life is a How do you know it's going to be a boy? How would you stop interrupting, please? Yesterday, I was scraping some gunk off my wall sockets with a metal fork, and I gave myself the nastiest shock. And when I came to, I had an epiphany. Life is precious. And if I die, I want my son to know the dealio. The dealio of life. Here are some things that I want to teach you that your mother won't be able to. So you jumpstart a car. First, pop the hood. Then you take these bad boys and clip them anywhere on the engine. Then you take these and clip them wherever. Number eight, learn how to take off a woman's bra. What? We will demonstrate on Pam. No. And no. Come on. You just twist your hand until Something breaks. Oh. Well, you get the picture. Thanks, Pam. And remember, no matter what, I will always love you. What if he's a murderer? He's not going to be a murderer. Maybe that's how you die. You know what, Dwight? Do you want to do this or no? I want to do this. OK. From the top. Ready? Three. Action. Oh. OK, where does it hurt? Just all over. I don't want to do anything dying. No, that's not how it works. You have to point to a specific part of the body. Right there. Abdomen. Uh, Menses. Maybe. The uterus contracts after your egg passes through it. Not it. I don't have eggs. So when did this start? About 10 minutes ago. I when I came in with the paperwork? Mm-hmm. About 40 times a year, Michael gets really sick but has no symptoms. Dwight is always gravely concerned. Oh, is it possible you ate food that contained animal waste? That's possible. I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl, so I'm wise and I have worms. Ow. Oh, breakfast. I got your sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Yummy, yummy. Thank you, Ryan. What was the thing uh, you needed me to come in early for? Um, the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. But thank you. And why don't you just take a couple hours, office is yours, home alone, risky business, take your pants off, run around, whatever you ought to do. I'm just going to take a nap in my car till work starts. OK. Okay. Healthier. I'll watch those cars. Things are a little slow here, and there's only so much cold calling you can do in a day. Turns out there's no limit to the number of cheese puffs you can throw at someone's face. Oh. We're getting pretty good at it. What's up with you? I cannot believe I fell for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? What? Where's the funny? Give it to me. Um, was it me or does it smell like Updog in here? What's up, dog? Nothing much. What's up with you? Oh, wow. <laughs> I walked right into that. Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, Stanley, is that jacket made of Updog? I'm on the phone. Mmm. What flavor coffee is that? Updog? What's that? I don't know. Nothing. What's up with you? Huh? No. Damn it. What does that mean? What does what mean? The thing you just said. Let's forget it. Dwight! Hey, is it me? Or does this place smell like Updog? What's Updog? Gotcha! Oh, God. Crap. Nothing. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Okay. Damn it. 
Let's think this through. If we ask corporate for that, then... They are either going to say yes or no. Could go either way. We don't know what they are going to say. Think it through. You have to think it through. Because if they say no... Can we not? No, yes, we have to. You know why? Because I don't like to be cooped up in that office, in that box, all day long. Heisman! Because I need to think. Okay, Jim? Oh, Kevin! Ooh! <laughs> uh, nice catch. Mm, 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 mm. Oscar! Intercepted! Right here. That. Give it to me. Phillips, give me the ball. Okay, give me the ball. Give me, you guys, Ooh, Creed, cool. give me the ball right here, now. Michael, give it to me. Ryan. Ah! Oh. Ah! Fumble! Ah! Just... Ah! 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 All right, hey, ah! Ah! You all right, Ryan? Ryan. Yeah. Pam! <laughs> this morning, the phone guy comes in, and he shows Michael that our phones have a PA function. And then he just left. Find it? I didn't. I'll look somewhere else. All right. All right. Would you like fries with that? Please drive around. You want to see me? Yeah, have a seat. Is it serious? Wow. <laughs> and you're a little scared. Okay, right there. Right there is the problem. There have been reports around the office that you have been talking baby talk. Why would people say that? Well, I have it on good authority that you said the following. Can you read that back to me? Andy have a boo-boo tummy. Mm -hmm. Would you rather me say, hey guys, my irritable bowel syndrome is flaring up. Okay. Crazy diarrhea happening right now. Because things can get real adult real fast. You are also on record as saying, widow idle, footy woodies, num nums, jammies, make boom boom, widdicowus, and woad iwind. Bernards are not allowed to talk like babies, even when we're babies. So, naturally college, my first time away from home, I went nuts. It was all, Ooh, Andy, wee wee, and quibby, and and Andy want milky from booby. <laughs> but uh, after all my roommates transferred, I reined it in. Sometimes I can't help myself. Do I sometimes replace R's with W's? Do I sometimes repeat a word to get my point across? Well, if I do, Andy, sorry. I get it, Andy. All right, I get that being an adult is tough. You have to dress yourself. You have to feed yourself. 
when you have to poo, you need to walk to a special room, but you can't do it here. You can't be a baby in the office. It makes me look like I hire babies. Well, if we're complaining, a lot of people think your Elvis voice is annoying. Okay, who said that? I'm just people. For the record, I think it's pretty fantastic. Well, thank you. Thank you a lot. And for what it's worth, I think your baby voice is topped. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. You're welcome, baby. Coat! Michael just rented the Devil Wears Prada. He has his Netflix sent here to the office and he watches them in pieces when things are slow. Steak! Where's my steak? He's a big Meryl Streep fan, so I shouldn't be surprised that he's identified with her character. Get me Armani. A suit? On the phone? Like the main company number? Because I'm gonna have to call information. Where's Armani? He's on the phone, too slow. You're not going to Paris. I'm so much better than you. I owe you an apology. You finished the movie. Yeah, it was awesome. Big surprise ending. Won't ruin it for you. No, go ahead. Meryl Streep is the bad guy. You never see it coming. Anyway, if I was mean in any way to you, I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, Manushka. Makushla, he's watching Million Dollar Baby. He's gonna try to kill me. Everybody, everybody, listen up. I need your ideas now. Ideas, please, right now. Go, go, come on. Michael, we don't know what you're talking about. Wet cement, outside, it's drying, fast, come on. This is a lifelong dream. What do I write? What oh, do I write? Michael, you could put your initials in it. MGS, no. Some idiot named Mark Greg Sputnik will claim credit for it. I don't, once in a lifetime opportunity, people. Come on, here we what, go, what? here we go. Well, let's, yes. When I was a little girl. Okay. <laughs> okay, do it. Go on, we, great, let's we, hear it. We found some wet cement it's in the drying, park at our drying. neighborhood, and... All right, have a, come on, I want Phil! To be right. Oh, come on! Here it is, you draw a picture. No! Because that says, that says no. so much more than words. No! Come on, give me Wait. something good! Okay, I was watching E, and I saw Will Smith outside the Chinese theater, and oh my god, he looks so good. Damn, translate. She's talking about the handprints that celebrities make in the cement. I love it! If you were a real star, you'd put your face in it. I love it more! Michael, that doesn't seem safe. I love it! <laughs> Come on, let's Come go! On. <laughs> we are here today not to immortalize a man, but an idea. Maybe the idea of a man. Hurry, please. Greatness is only skin deep, some people Can say. Well, that's not true. Other people believe it's Hold deep down inside, and in this case, Ready? that's also and? not true. Go. Force it in as deep as you can. Today's a very special day for me, and it's really not about me. It's about my grandkids. It's about my great grandkids. I can come back here when I'm 100, and I can find that piece of cement and say, that's me. Look, kids, your daddy left that face hole. I don't know. It's a good feeling. <laughs>